Hey there, Jen Kem peeps. It is Monday, April 27th, and here is your next assignment. And it's based on balancing equations, which we've had a little bit of experience before. I gave you a little bit of a taste of it on a previous activity. We're going to go more in depth. This is a simulated lab activity. And so in the document that we want to go over, um, there is a link. And we're just going to grab and we're going to copy this link. We're going to talk about this in just a minute. But just a brief overview introduction, this part up here. We've talked about this before, the idea of law of conservation of matter. We can talk about law of conservation of mass. Uh, you could also talk about law of conservation of energy. Anything we create, we cannot, you know, we can't create it, we can't destroy it, but we can change forms. And so if we take a look at our original uh, equation here to make water, hydrogen and oxygen makes water. But if we look, there's two hydrogens there and there's two oxygens here. We look on this side, there's two hydrogens, which is balanced with the two hydrogens over here, but my oxygens are not. So we need to rewrite the equation. And the only way we can rewrite and change equations is by changing the coefficient, which of course is the number that goes in front of any of the actual symbols or elements. And so if we rewrite the equation right here, we have the balanced equation. Now I have two hydrogens and one oxygen makes two waters. So remember like math, you would expand, you'd multiply. So two times two is four hydrogens. And over on this side, two times two is four hydrogens. If we look right here, I have two oxygens. And again, if we expand two times the one, remember there's no one listed, but it would be two times one, there would be two oxygens. So now it would be balanced. So again, four hydrogens on both sides, okay? four atoms of hydrogen, four atoms of hydrogen. If we look two atoms of oxygen on the left side or our reactant side, and two atoms of oxygen on our product side. So what we're doing here is a simulated activity. And when you use that link, we're going to be dealing with a website, Balancing Chemical Equation Simulation, and we're going to be looking for this image. So if I go to, let me get rid of that. If I go back to the internet, and if we open up a window and just copy or just click the link either from the email or click the link from the Google uh, Classroom, if we paste and go to that link, you'll get this that will then populate and I want to just walk you through what you should be seeing. We'll do the introduction together and then you can play, uh, play around and test the introduction to become familiar with it. Then you're going to get into the game and I'll show you how that game works as well. So our introduction, once you're in there, you can choose different things to help you look. And we have three examples. We have making ammonia, making water, separating water, which is the opposite of what we just saw on the previous page and combusting methane. So I can add a couple things. I can have nothing up at the top or if I want to have a scale between my materials or if I want to have like masses and numbers, <clears throat> excuse me, that may help you. And so every single time you start, you're going to get a blank screen in both sides and you're going to have zeros. What you need to do is start in each one, you have to add at least one of each. And so if we take a quick look at this, it looks like I have two nitrogens, those are the blue. I have two hydrogens, those are the white. And over here, I have one nitrogen and three hydrogen. So if you look at our formula as well, one nitrogen, three hydrogen, I have two hydrogens and two, uh, uh, two nitrogen. So right now, neither of them are balanced. My nitrogen is not balanced, it's two to one, and my hydrogen is two to three. So neither of them are balanced. So like we've said before with balancing equations, sometimes it's a guessing game to play around. And so if you start with the first item, so I have two over here. The only way to make two over on this side is by increasing the number. So when I double that, now my coefficient becomes two. I'm really multiplying everything after that coefficient. So now we look, we have two blues or two nitrogens. I have two nitrogens, those are good. But now I have one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens. That means that's not balanced with the two hydrogens. How I do that, I can change this and I can make so that it's balanced, okay? I can add a couple more in. Now, instantly that went to a smiley face just letting us know that it is matched and it's complete. When you actually do the real tests, it will not automate that. You have to do that on your own. I'm gonna uh, show you an example here in just a minute. And so that is basically what we're doing. Now, if you wanna see it with different values, if we got rid of some of those uh, numbers, notice how the scale is not balanced here or if we used numbers, you know, two is not equal to one, you know, hydrogen two and hydrogen three. So again, those are balanced. If we increase it, notice I have two and two, but I have two and six. So if you want to have that little extra piece to help you out, that might work on the scale. Notice again, we do have numbers. You can see the scale 
two and two, okay? Or, or sorry, if, if we look at it, nitrogen showing both sides, so the two over here and the two over here are represented on this side, and then the two from this hydrogen representing the six over on this side showing that that's not balanced. So I'm not sure if it would be more confusing or it might help you, but again, you do have that available to you. So let's take a look at separating water, which is the exact opposite of what we did on uh, this diagram from the introduction up top, okay? So again, anytime you start, I'm just gonna get rid of these so we have less to look at, less confusion. Every time you start, put at least one of them in there so you can actually have some elements. And if we look at this, I have one either red or orange and I have two red or oranges. That's not balanced, but the white ones are. So again, now I need to increase. How do I make those balanced? I can add another one here. Now I have two orange and two orange, but now I have four white. So I need to change the white here by adding another one in and bingo, we're good. To do combustion, again, we add in one of each. And as we look, I have one gray and I have one gray. I have one, two, three, four whites, but I have one, two smaller whites. Again, don't confuse the gray with the white. I have two orange and I have one, two, three orange. So there's a couple different things we want to play with. So notice I already have four whites. I can try to balance those out and double that up. So now I have four whites and I have four whites. I have one gray and one gray and I have two orange, but now I have four orange. So notice that didn't also go right to yellow. So this is where some of the formulas are a little more complex than others and it becomes sort of a sort of a guessing game going back and forth. And so now I want to double my methane. So now I have two green or two grays. I have one gray. Wait, hold on, go back for a second. Let's just take a look and see which ones are balanced again. Uh, sorry, the, the oxygen. That's what I wanted to add more oxygen because we had the orange already. We already had one gray, so we didn't need to change that one. It was the orange I wanted to change. So again, make sure you're uh, kind of recognizing which one is which one. So again, we have one gray and one gray. We have the four whites and we have four whites. And then we have four oranges and then one, two, three, four oranges. So play around with this again if you want to experiment and see what you're comfortable with. If you want to reset it, it will reset it back to the beginning. You can just click that button and we'll go back to the beginning. Once you are done, go to the bottom. Once you feel comfortable, you can click on the game here at the bottom. And what you need to do is all three levels. At the very end, in the second page of this document, there are three sections, level one, level two, and level three, with 15 questions, okay, with 15 questions. And what you need to do is complete those and then submit your answers. Uh, either you can type them up and you can submit it through this Google Doc that I've shared with you, or you can actually uh, take it on a, a separate sheet of paper if you wanna do it on loose leaf, or if you wanna print it out, and then you can take a picture and you can email it to me. So it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do the first one here for you just to show you an example of what you would see. And again, notice in this case, we don't really see the option to choose those other symbols of uh, you know, the teeter-totter or the other numbers, you're kind of just on your own. So it might have been just good practice before. So what we have to do first, again, we have to throw in a value for each one, okay? We have to throw in a value for each one. You have to put one of each, and we need to check our work. So notice P4, there's four of them. There's two Fs. Again, those numbers associate with the number that's after the element. Again, the number only goes with the element that's directly before it. So this three only goes with the fluorine or the F. The three has nothing to do with the P, okay? Once you change, if we have an, a coefficient in the front, then everything after it would be multiplied, then you would consider both the elements. But any number after an element only goes with the, the element or the symbol right before it. Unless it's in parentheses, then it includes everything in the parentheses. So I have four here and one here, that's not balanced. I have two there and three here, that's not balanced. So we wanna to start to play around. I wanna look and say, okay, well, there's four here. Let's try to make this four. So one, two, three, four. So now I have four oranges and I have four oranges or red, whatever color you're, you're looking at this as. And now I can see I have three groups, or excuse me, groups of three, but I have four groups of three to make a total of 12 yellows. How do I do that? I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna turn this into 12. Notice there's a bigger box. So in theory, you may need to add more pieces in there. And so what I want to do now is check it. But I want to show you what you're going to see first if you were wrong versus if you're right. 
And so if we do our math right now, I have four P's here. If I look at this, four times one is four P, so that's good. Six times two would be 12 F's, and four times three would be 12 F's. So I know it's balanced, but I'm gonna get rid of one and just show you what happens. When Notice we got that nice sound. So you can turn off the sounds if you want. And you know we can explain, but we wanna try again. So I'm gonna add one more. We're gonna check, we get that check. We got some good, uh, good balanced equations there. Now, what you need to do before, this is crucial, okay? This direction, before you click next, we're gonna go back here for a minute. Notice it says in the directions, okay? It says, I'm gonna highlight it. So balance the equations by removing our atoms, molecule, molecules, what we've been doing is and showing us examples. Now, what you need to do down here in your document or on our loose leaf, write the correct final balanced equation in the space provided for all three levels. So you need to have 15 answers when you're done. Okay, you need to have 15 answers when you're done. And so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take and you're going to write this answer. You do not need to write ones. You can just leave it blank and just write P4 plus 6F2 equals 4PF3. Now try to follow how the four is written as a subscript, but your coefficients are written as a number the same size as your elements, of course. Okay, so again, make sure you do that. If you don't, you're gonna go to the next question and you're not gonna see the answer again. So make sure you record, it's crucial that you record. Once you are done, you go to the next one and you start over. Now, here's the other hint. I'm gonna go back to that. Notice, if you mess up and forget and have to start over again, you will see new formulas. This, this system rotates questions. It will not give you the same exact question next time or if you try to have someone else do it. So here's the thing. If you are working with someone and helping someone else, I should not necessarily see the same answers from other students doing this in class because it rotates different questions. If I see you all have the same answers, I know you've cheated on this. So if you watch the video thus far and you uh, pay attention to that, you're in good standing, okay? So that is the assignment or the first assignment to take care of that will be due by the end of the week, due May 1st on balancing equations. If you have questions, you can always, uh, again, email me at dgardner at solveschools.org. You can send a message, <coughs> excuse me, send a message through Google Classroom, or if you're in the Remind app, you can send that through Remind as well, all right? Take care, and I look forward to seeing your answers.